Hello Donuts, today we are going to be watching a chick flick that is not available to watch in the UK anywhere because apparently it's been banned. It's called She's the Man. So I'm excited to see why you can't watch this in the UK anymore. Like what, what is the issue with this movie? I'm kind of intrigued but also nervous. <laughs> Let's get into it. Give it. Very nice. Give it. Oh, oh sorry. Hey. Goodness. Okay, early doors. We've got, is that Amanda Bynes with this jock? Where's this movie gonna go? Are they gonna kiss themselves to death? I hope so, guys. Might be a bit morbid, but that's what I'm into. You are really getting good. Oh, you too. I mean, when we first started going out, you couldn't kiss at all. I mean, it's soccer. Watching other people flirt, especially when they're like acting flirting is so awkward. <laughs> You're actually getting good with your ball control. You're handling the balls well. I was talking about soccer. <laughs> your mind's in the gut, I love. What is the lacrosse team doing on our field? Wait, is she a footballer? Or a soccer player? Oh my god, she's so quirky, I love this. Project Jill Scott in the house. Not enough girls signed up. What, so they just cut us? We can't do that. Hi girls, heard the bad news. Bad? It's a disaster. Is there anything I can do? We want to try out for the boys team. <laughs> anything besides that. <laughs> Come on, we all know. Boys rule and girls drool. You think you can play for the boys team, you dreamer? It's like those lads that get really offended when a woman is a pundit on like a like a men's game. They're like, oh, they don't know anything. They've got two left feet. How could they? God. What's going on, coach? Girls here. I want to try out for the team. <laughs> I'm not serious. <laughs> Do you want to play with us? Are you sure you haven't got a, a pillow fight to be up to, man? With your fucking ponytails? <laughs> Those can't be boys. Well, Justin, you're the team captain. What do you think about it? I think the coach said it all. <gasps> Yesterday, you told me that I was better than half the guys on your team. I never said that. What are you talking about? Why are you lying? Well, I... Oh, this guy. This guy's got so many red flags. He's trying to be cool in front of the boys. Oh, is this whole movie going to be about her trying to get on, like, the boys' football team? Oh. Don't bring friends over. Okay, so is she surrounded by kind of like girl, like stereotypically girly girls? And she's like the tomboy? Is this like her quirk? And she's not gonna like fit in at school or anything? And she kind of seeks to play football? I don't know. I feel like she's somehow gonna try and get into the football team. Surprise! Gowns for my darling debutante. Have I not told you a thousand times I have no interest in being a debutante? To be fair, right? Like, even if you're a, a tom girl. Uh, or is it a tomboy? Is it tomboy or tom girl? Who is Tom? And why does he control the system? If anyone returned Tom and their mother had bought them clothes like this, I feel like you're well within your rights to freak out. Like, who's gonna go to the corner shop, go to a Londis wearing this? You're going to get mugged. Justin's gonna love you in this. Yet another reason not to wear it. I dumped him. Why? I don't want to talk about it. He's so handsome and Rugged and chiseled. Yeah, why don't you shag a mom? Jesus Christ. Anything else? Oh, I just love how his pubes are only two inches. It's just the perfect amount of measurement. Wait, where are you going? London for a couple of weeks. What are you gonna do about school? I was kind of hoping you could help me with that. What happens if she, like, pretends to be him? I don't know if he's got a football. Is he on the football team? What happens if she, like, pretends to be him? But now people wouldn't believe that, though, would they? I know they look alike, but I feel like I would know if someone was pretending to be somebody else. Are you just talking with your brother? No. Yes? Does she have to carry the football everywhere just so we know that she likes it? Just in case we forget? <laughs> you want me to turn you into your brother? That's right! Oh, she actually is. She actually is. What a prediction from me, by the way. Can turn the world on with us. Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, just put a mustache on her. Then she'll look like the Monopoly man. Give her 20 for pass and go. That'll sort it. Oh, no. I like how fast this movie travels. This one was this made. This was made in 2006, okay? We've watched what? We've watched Mean Girls, and we've also watched Seventeen again. These didn't travel as fast as this. This is like gripped it straight away. This is when, look, she's gonna pretend to be a brother. Bang, we're into it. I'm loving it. I don't need subway surfers on the side to stay in tuned with this movie. It's great. The slow motion text. <laughs> Do you know what? She does kind of look like a brother. I feel like if you didn't, you know, you didn't know her brother in school, like you'd saw him maybe once or twice, you kind of knew his face. I need a side by side. Maybe she doesn't. What is that trim, by the way? Why she got like a trim like she's in the Beatles? She looks like she's came straight from Abbey Road. Let me hear the voice. <clears throat> hey, what's up? I'm Sebastian. Now show me the strut. Like, this can't go right. Like, what about Sebastian's teachers who see him every day? Surely they're going to realise, like, how is she just went ahead with this? And she didn't even use any of the moustaches. Why was she trying moustaches on and then went for none of them? Did Sebastian even have a moustache? <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> I love that the show is spitting on the ground as a guy. 
I'm not the specimen that should be of a guy. I'm having voice breaks in my 20s. What am I doing? Well, I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted. It's not even worth it now. If she really wants to be a, a, a white guy, why don't you start a podcast, love? Just get two of your friends where all of you have no original thoughts and just get some microphones. Then everyone will believe it. Oh, you caught- remember your football? I forgot there that she actually liked football, so I'm glad that she's caught it again. Are people looking at her because they know? Or are people going, Ugh, Look at that weird creep Ugh, with a football. Surely everyone knows that's your football as well. You carry this football everywhere. Could you not at least chose a different football? Wasn't he into music? Surely you should bring your guitar in. I don't know. I feel like you've literally just, you're yourself, but you've just changed your face and your hair. You haven't adopted any other mannerism that your brother had. My God. Obviously, she's not trying to be trans here. She's just trying to be a brother. But what happens if she gets kegged? Like, that's a, that's a thing in, in... Is this school or is this college? Like, what happens if she gets kegged? Which basically means when a lad will just pull down your pants without you realising. And then they say you don't have a penis. Everybody hasn't seen Sebastian's penis, but they probably just imagine he has one, right? She's not gonna, like, have, like, a... I don't even... Something strapped to her. Damn! Sebastian strapped up! By the way, guys, just before we proceed with the rest of this movie, make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel so you have more movie reactions from me to binge watch when you're bored. We're on the hunt for half a million subscribers so join us on this journey. Let's get back to the movie. Is that Channing Tatum? Oh my god, she's in the same dorm as Channing Tatum. What are the chances, guys? If I was a lass, I would be like, look, <laughs> this, this is just fake, Channing. What's your name? Sebastian Hastings. Duke Orsino. Mm! Okay. Freshman dorm's that away. Wiggling. If you are a girl watching this, how would you act? Like, it's like, obviously she's acting and it's funny, but like, how would you actually act if you actually had to pull this off? Let's not say you were trying to be a brother. Let's just say you were trying to be a guy when you have no intention of being a guy. How, what, what would you do? Like, what's the first thing you do if you go in a dorm like this? I'm trying to think, because now I'm overthinking it as a guy. Do you spit on the floor? No, because I wouldn't spit on the floor. I don't know. Okay, well, why do you have tampons in your boot? Oh, I like to shove them up my ass. We have a G-spot up there. I get really bad nosebleeds. So you stick them up your nose? Yeah. You've never done that? I'll just show you how to do it. Bend over, Channon. It absorbs right up. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Why would you put an unused tampon up your nose? Oh, man. To be fair, like, I don't know if I'm stupid or naive, but if I didn't know what a tampon is and I saw that up someone's nose, I would be like, yeah, that's, that, looks, that look, actually looks quite usable. Like, it's got a string, you just pull it out. I don't want to put tissue up there. What I do when I've got a runny nose, I get, like, tissue and I, like, scrum and then just block my nose with it. I feel like this is a much safer option. Damn, I might go out and buy a pack of Tampax tonight. Let's start the season out. We finished the last. Oh my god, that's Vinnie Jones. What are you, the run of the family? <laughs> Shirts and skins. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir. No, don't bring attention to yourself. Shirt. What? I'm allergic to the sun. Oh, so skins basically means like you play topless. So obviously she doesn't want to play topless. If she did do my method of... Would have been a bit less obvious, just saying. A lot more traumatic, but less obvious. This makes me miss playing football. Guys, just saying, uh, I actually used to play for Middlesbrough, but uh, didn't become professional, because dodgy knee. Right, honestly, I would have made it right at the top of the beautiful game if it wasn't for this knee. I hit the showers. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. Like, this is, a, is something that if, you know, you've never been a guy, you will not understand. But, like, in football changing rooms, like, it was when I was 16, I started playing for, like, older teams with, like, actual men, with, like, men bodies. Like, they just walk around with the ding -a swinging. And I was so shocked as a 15, 16-year-old. I was still in school. I was like, what? People are just walking out with their knobs out in front of each other? Like, they're just shaking them in people's faces. When I would have to go for a shower, I genuinely get me underpants, right? <laughs> I'd have me underpants on to go, bang, towel on. So quickly, nobody's going to see my penis. Still, to this day, I would find that uncomfortable. Some people are just so comfortable with having their willy out in front of people. Horatio Goal, headmaster. Sorry, he's the headmaster. The guy looks like a, some sort of games master. He looks like he's going to, to tell me a riddle. I have to, like, unscrabble it to get my family back out of, like, captivity. I'm not going to take no for an answer. Now have a sit in the headmaster's chair. Come on, have a sit. This guy's a creep. This guy's definitely going to get exposed in five years for having dodgy stuff on his hard drive. So I keep a special interest on the transfer students that come to this school. Oh, okay, so that's how people don't really know, because he's a transfer student. Okay, so that makes more sense, right? So basically, he's never actually been to this school. I was wondering, I was like, well, surely his friends would know, but he has no friends here yet. Oh! 
three. Getting to know the opposite sex, are we? Male, female dynamic, all that. Sexual tension. It's all part of the high school experience. So Sorry, you're the headmaster. You're not Paddy McGinnis. You're not the love doctor. What do you mean? Oh, yes, guys. Well, part of the school experience is having a little shag outside of the headmaster's office. Go ahead. I'll be watching. Ooh, cute shoes. Oh, you think so? I got my anthropology. No way. They have shoes there? Oh, yeah, I guess I, you know, go take care of some guy stuff. Oh, is that going to be the love interest? Is she going to fancy fake Sebastian? Hey, dude. Mind if I join? So those soccer tryouts were bogus, huh? Damn well, hello fellas. Anybody feeling the gravity of their penis a bit heavier today? Must be something in the water. Check out the booty on that blonde. We'll talk about her that way. That's your girlfriend. <laughs> Baloney is 38% hoof. Thanks. Uh-oh. Looks like you got some competition. Okay, so straight away, basically Channing Tatum fancies the girl. But I think uh, fake Sebastian is going to actually get the girl. And that's going to cause a rift between her and Channing and Tatum during this and then they're, they're, they're probably not going to become friends and then the I don't know okay, what is this why is this so dramatic Come on, let's go! oh let's she's go! is she in a dream Guys, why, what, what's with the twilight colour correction here? I feel like Edward Cullen's gonna come out of the dark and say hold on tight spider monkey what's going on <laughs> rise and shine <laughs> What the hell? Have Isis found her? Gentlemen, let me present this year, Soccer Baby! You know, you see this in like so many movies. Like, what was another movie? Is it Bad Neighbors with Zac Efron? They have the, like this like ritual in there as well. So this must happen in America. Like, if you're American, let me know if you've been through this. But why do they do this with like first years? Why do they like piss on them and throw sick on them or like pig poop? Like, why do they do this? I, it's so straight. Like in the UK, if they did this, people would be like, I'm just not doing that. Like, you, there's no chance you're gonna ever throw any liquid or substance onto me without my consent. Like in America, it's just so wild, like anything goes. Hey Sebastian, hey. How you doing, baby? I'm thinking about you a lot, especially at night. Okay, did she just say that to Sebastian? Big mournful side. Huh? Are they all getting boners? Why are they like, what is going on here? Is nobody just having a bit of me time? Why is everybody on the edge? Is everybody in chastity cages? Women. Ha <laughs> 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 <Well, then. laughs> Is there another one? Oh my god. God, Jesus. Take Davina McCall. Do you want another one? It's raining women for Viola, who is actually Sebastian. Are these guys really that dense that they're going to like Sebastian now because girls like him? Hey there, pretty lady. What are you, hitting on me? Uh, just... Girls with asses like mine do not talk to boys with faces like yours. I'm sorry, that is actually hilarious. If somebody said that to me, I'd be like, you know what, love, fair enough. I am out of line. I will stay in line. I know I'm not worthy. I'm looking for my boyfriend, Sebastian. Sebastian Hastings. Oh, is that actually Sebastian's actual Sebastian's girlfriend? I'm, what is this Sebastian. multiverse of madness? Don't let her get too close to recognize you. What am I gonna do? Sebastian! Keep away from me! Okay, you know what? Don't come any closer to me! It's over! Love, you're dense. Like, surely you know Sebastian's taller. Like, he was clearly taller. And he should be more broad, right? If I saw my girlfriend and she was suddenly really tall, even though it kind of looked like, I would just initially go, oh, well, that's not her because she's six foot seven. When my eyes are closed, I see you for what you truly are! Whoa, you just embarrassed that girl in front of everybody. Fucking get it. That's the sign of a true man. I don't care if you don't have a penis. So how long did you date that girl for anyway? Too long. Ball and freaking chain, man. Why does she kind of like go Indian? A little bit Indian with the accent? How are they not placing this accent? It's so odd. Like there's a little bit of South Africa in there that creeps in. She's just changing it as she goes. Please take a slip and read off the name of your lab partner. Olivia Lennox. I gotta be completely honest. The whole dissecting thing kind of freaks me out. Most guys would never admit that. Uh, no paper near the Bunsen. Why is that guy always there? He's like a weird third wheel. Lyrics, they're his. My. My old stuff. I write songs too, Olivia. Nobody cares about your songs, come over boy. Well, I'm standing on a tree outside. God, he just needs to have a wank or something, Jesus Christ. Did you say anything about me? No, was I supposed to? Come on, this, this is perfect. Why does everybody else dress in uniform, but he dresses like he's just, he's ready for like 18 hole golf tournament. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll tell you what, you do this, I'll work with you on your soccer. I'll make you good enough to make first string. Okay, yeah. Wait, the first thing you're, you're teaching her is an overhead kick? Could you not just start with the basics? You'll use that like one in every 20 games, the football pundit over here, guys. 
that's the main problem with this movie. We got the recipe to erase the treachery, repping the south side of Shot down to the death of I know this is such like a funny like little thing, but the way Chad and Tatum kicks a football is how I imagine an American would kick a football. It's like, Ugh! I feel like that was the noise he'd make. That's actually the noise I make when I get out of bed. I'm getting old, guys. <laughs> Actually funny. Surely that hurts girls, right? Like that is one of the worst pains imaginable. I I suppose actually giving birth is probably up there. Probably it's probably not on that level. But it hurts, okay. Honestly, if someone kicks a football off there, that is like you not having babies for at least ten years until it recuperates what it's lost. Miss me? Yeah, what's going on? It was wrong with the voice. Oh, I just have a little bit of a cold. Are you gonna tell your brother you're pretending to be him? We went on a couple days early and the crowd lit for us. They wanted an encore. You've gotta give it to that head teacher, like in the background. Not only is he the head teacher, he's also the guy that serves everybody their food at dinner and he cleans the windows. He's a very hands on head teacher. I've never seen a head teacher act like that. Oh, no, with Duke Orsino? I, I, I see that. So you're telling me he's not just another dumb jock who wants to hook up with me, but, but too insecure to treat you as an equal? Exactly. Oh, she clearly likes Viola, who's Sebastian. What happened? What happens if when Sebastian comes back to school, or was it the 12th? What happens if Sebastian comes back and he's got to like take over this life and he doesn't like the girl? But actually these two are in love. Oh, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm gonna act like a girl and you're gonna talk to me, okay? I'm Viola. Duke? Nice to meet you. Okay, that was creepy. You really just sounded like a girl just then. Because she 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 is a girl. How has nobody saw this yet? To be fair, she does like I don't I'm trying to it's so hard because obviously we know that she is a girl, but like I'm trying to put my mind in the perspective of I saw fake Sebastian for the first time. Would I suspect anything? And I don't think I would. I apologize for not suspecting that it was actually his sister attempting to be him. That would just never cross my mind meeting someone for the first time. Ask me like cheese. Do you like cheese? Why yes I do. My favorite's good. I like good too. Bro's got that cheese wrist. How dare he? Hey, I'm working the kissing booth. Come see me. Fair play to this woman. She's choosing fake Sebastian over Chan and Tatum. This woman really is about the personality, and I love that for her. <laughs> what? How did she do that so quick? Fair play. It was like one of those, you know them games where they just like turn like this and then they're just like in a brand new dress. Wow. My girlfriend Chloe takes at least two hours to get ready. There's no chance she got ready in, in two minutes. No chance. This movie's fake. Ow. She's How using the portal as like a time machine. Do I know you? No. Uh, Where you been? I've been calling and calling. I miss you. We need to talk. All the talking is done. Is she, as fake Sebastian, going to play against this guy's football team and beat the football team? And then that's the ending of the movie. I feel like I've guessed it. <laughs> Why didn't you just go back in the portal? Why are you getting changed on the waltzer? That just seems so unproductive. Everybody can see. You're spinning so you're dizzy while you're doing it. Why are you throwing curveballs in for yourself? You're asking to be caught, love. He's only kissed like 350 guys. Uh, in this is it, why is this a thing? Is this actually a thing in America? Do they make like young girls kiss random guys in a line? Life they don't even get good. paid for this or do they? Life is fair. Life oh, that's is too long. Bro, bro, that's, I know it's acting, but that's too long. What's bro waiting for? It's too long. No. You, you, it's just a peck, you're in and you're out. Right, and then you shake it all about. I gave that girl my ticket and I waited in line. Wait, are these two gonna get together then? It's throwing me off this movie. This is wrong. You're messing up Pua Chan and Tatum. This can never work because eventually you're going to have to tell him one day, oh, by the way, you know that weird boy that you were uh, spending all of your days and nights with and actually sleeping in a bedroom together? Yeah, that was me also. That's just gonna give him the ache. That's not a way to do this. Nobody has ever started a relationship in this way. Viola, what the hell is this? Excuse me, doofus making out with my girlfriend. <laughs> Excuse me, fucking doofus. You're making out with my girlfriend. In the UK, this would be like, you, you twat, get your stupid crusty lips off me, lass. I'm gonna see you on the soccer field and we'll settle this all then. <laughs> okay, dude. I'm gonna see you on or the soccer right field, here. man. <laughs> oh! Get off Magic Mike. Get off him. Uh, how do people not realize she's a boy there? She spat on the floor. First rule of boy club. Where were you at today? You just disappeared. Grand my psycho ex. Oh my god! Has he got the tampon up his nose? I uh, hope you don't mind. I'm trying to borrow one of your- I'm sorry, like, look at this from his point of view. This is so strange. Like, why are they- Like, he's just kissed a girl who he kind of half likes, but it's actually standing in front of him as a boy. This is so strange. I don't know if she's your sister. It's kind of weird. You know, I was just thinking that you liked her, then maybe you should ask her out. I'm turning the tables here. This is like ultimate race. Your wing man 
running yourself. This is like unbelievable actually, I actually respect the hustle. Yeah, you're pretending to be a boy so you can wing man you. This is tremendous. Why do you always talk about girls in such graphic terms? You know what, you, you have issues. You're a really sensitive guy. You know what, I actually, yeah, he's like sensitive, right? You're like, he, he, he's just said that like, you shouldn't talk about girls that way, that's great, but I do have one major red flag. Who chills on the bed with jeans on? We all know, right? If you've wore jeans when you've been out, first thing you do when you get through your door, you whip them off. Nobody who was staying in the house all day goes, I tell you what, I'll just put some jeans on today. Nobody does that. Hastings! <clears throat> yeah, yeah, coach? Your first string for the Cornwall game. Really? No, I was joking, you idiot. <laughs> yes! This is clearly going to go wrong because we're having like a good period. And on all, all these movies, like it's the same, they use the same structure. And I don't know if it's for all, it's just more evident in like chick flicks. But it always happens that there's like good at the start, then there's a little issue that they get over fairly quickly. And then it's good, 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 major issue. And then they like sort it at the end. So what's the major issue gonna be? Is it like, I, I feel like maybe it's her brother coming back. And then obviously like her brother's got to play in that game. Her brother's gonna play in the game. I've solved it. That's it. Possibly. What are you bench pressing these days, Duke? 225. Very impressive. Oh, is she gonna ruin it for- Oh, okay, so she's trying to make not- not Sebastian jealous, but actually she's gonna ruin it for Viola, because she's gonna take Duke away- Oh! Oh, there's no chemistry here. Do you like cheese? No, oh, he actually used the cheese line. That was just a joke. And it, it probably worked with Viola because she already fancies the pants off you. Don't use cheese. When you're cold calling someone, don't bring up cheese. They're trying to woo this woman and you've brought up bloody mozzarella. Hey, you two, what's going on? <laughs> uh, with Eunice. I was just telling Duke how great it is to meet a real man at this school. I feel like this is every single family vlogging channel. You know the ones that like start their, their videos off with, Hi guys, today we're just going to fill our pantry is a happy couple and then they turn the cameras off and they're like i hate you i hate everything about you why do you why do you have that spot on your forehead it pisses me off oh she's meeting she's meeting hey, this girl for the first time as herself god this movie's like a multiverse of madness i feel like dr strange is gonna come along no it's not my business but you went out with that duke orsino guy right yeah, once. Did you kiss him? No, why? Did you kiss him? Did you talk about cheese with him? Did you? I have this huge thing for his roommate, Sebastian. He's just trying to make uh, Sebastian jump. How? I'm sorry, but like, surely you're looking this woman right in the eyes. You're looking Viola right in the eyes. Surely you go, you know what? You actually just look like the person I fancy, but just without a wig. Surely you can see this. I'm sorry. You're seeing this person every day. Again, I know it's a movie, but come on. This is in the real world. These people are dense. These people have gone into college. They're clearly clever people. He smiles. I just can't stop looking at him. He's just so wonderful. I wonder if anyone's ever talked about me like that. I feel like it would be more like, God, have you smelled him? He stinks, doesn't he? Jesus. Like, do you, do you not own deodorant? It's a pound. It's a pound. Sebastian. Wait, is that actual oh Sebastian? I've been waiting for you to open your eyes so I can tell you that I think I'm ready. Wait, he looks a lot taller. Is that actual Sebastian? Oh, love, love, you are actually, I'm sorry, but you are dense. Surely the height, alone the height, you would realise that this is a total different man. He's got sideburns. Now I'm seeing him. He doesn't even look like Viola. How are you not, I know it's dark, but surely, surely you can tell. I wanted to tell you, Duke, but you have to know, I love soccer more than anything else in the world, and I had a point to prove. What? So you're telling me that you use me to help you with By the way, like, I know we're deep into this movie, but just taking it back, Viola's doing all of this this just so she can play on this the guy's football team <laughs> she really does like football you've got to give her that to go through all of this just so you can play on the school team it's mental oh they're fighting now because now Duke really saw th know what you're talking you about. Don't save it, man. the Look, girl I saw you he likes you. actually kissing some bastard Olivia that's who I saw you kissing it, her when you got out the car it wasn't that 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 was real <laughs> Sebastian <laughs> not fake Sebastian stop fighting guys oh, just kiss you know okay so it's start. time for the yeah, big game that fake Sebastian's gonna be on oh wait but that's real Sebastian oh so real Sebastian is gonna play in the game. Real Sebastian's gonna be terrible at football, isn't he? I can't believe they've w oh, I actually wanted to see fake Sebastian play. <laughs> Americans, I, I think I said this in 17 again when we did that reaction. Go watch it after this one. The way they support their school and college teams is wild. There's literally banners and people have got face paint on for their games. This would never happen in the UK for the local school. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today oh, he's going to be terrible. Him. Real Sebastian's going to ruin it. By the way, this is an ick that Viola did all of this and then she didn't end up actually ever playing for the team. Surely she has to play. That, that, that would just be a, a terrible payoff for this movie if, if she doesn't actually actually get to play. I want to see Sebastian get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. 
Oh, he is terrible. He runs like like a crab, like a crusty crab. This movie must be good because I'm emotionally invested in it. Like I'm annoyed that he's the one playing. So it's definitely hooked me in. So I have to give it credit for that. Stop the clock. Yeah, that's it. Stop the clock. I, I, what the? Why have they stopped the game? I think it's only right that Sebastian Hastings tell you himself. Oh, they found out. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Uh... Surely this would be like a matter that would be solved, you know, just in the headmaster's office, not front, in front of everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I am grievously sad to inform you that Sebastian Hastings is a girl. <laughs> This is the worst head teacher ever. <laughs> this would ruin his mental health in real life. <laughs> Imagine the head teacher on a megaphone in your school going, Oh, by the way, him, actually a girl. Like, you'd be like, what? Sorry? He's actually, specifically, his own sister, Viola, who's been impersonating him. Hey, folks, I'm a boy. Pull your pants down. Prove it. Okay. Oh, my God, he actually did. That was a joke. That was literally a joke. Have I got powers? <laughs> Any time now. Sorry guys, just thought I'd test it. Why do you look like me? I pretended to be you for the last two weeks so I could prove that I could play in the boys' soccer team. Okay, now I'm seeing them side by side, they, they look nothing alike. Their features are totally different. Like, he has a more of a rat nose, she has more of a mouse, you know what I mean? They say that people are either rat or mouse. He's rat, she's mouse. Coach, I'm ready to play. Is that what you call it? I've seen little girls in tutus kick the ball better than you. It's like she's so much more smaller and she looks nothing. Is everybody blind in this movie? This is stressing me out. Not one person has went. I you look a little bit smaller. Is she going to be like unbelievable now? She's going to score an overhead kick because that's what they practiced at the start. Oh, he scored an overhead kick. Oh! Okay, that's actually... That was hot. That was good. Beautiful. That was like Wayne Rooney against Manchester City. Nothing is going on with me and Olivia. When the game is over, I'll explain everything. I didn't lie to you, Duke. I did, but not about this. Are you going to tell him finally? I love you. What are you... That's just a little weird. Man, what the hell? Man can't like man. You doofus. That's so doofus behavior. Damn. You know what? I can't do this anymore. Finally. Everybody, I have something to tell you. I'm not Sebastian. This is bigger than a George Memeless face reveal. You're not vile. Yes, I am. I kissed vile. You kissed me. What, what are you talking about? Come on, about? Shannon, come on, come on. Like, how oh, Surely you can see. She's told you now. Surely you can go, oh, I was kind of, that was, you know what that was? I meant to bring that up, that you two kind of look like identical, uh, just with a different haircut. Uh, just kind of escaped my mind, sorry. The girls team at Cornwall got cut and the guys wouldn't let me go out for their team. This man is going to need therapy after this. You've literally ruined his mental health. Was it worth to play in the school football team to ruin everyone? My brother came home early and that's who you saw kissing Olivia. Doesn't prove you're a girl. Okay. Okay, then. He's like, okay, fair play. You might be a girl then. You've got titties. Okay, I believe you now. The long hair, there wasn't enough for to make me believe. But y'all got titties. So that passes the check for me. This isn't how I wanted it to happen, and I didn't want to hurt you, but... This is the weirdest rom-com chick flick I've ever watched. I can't lie. This is just odd. Just like what Coach says before every game. Be not afraid of greatness. I think the best chance for us to be great here today is to have you play. Yeah! <laughs> What? That's your response to finding out your best friend is also the girl that you want to shag? You bring up some sort of Pinterest quote? What do you mean greatness is thruster? What's that got to do with anything? Scrap the game? This person has just ruined your mental health for the last few months. The game doesn't even matter now. It's a school game. Why do they even care? Jesus. I'm telling you, if if, I, if this was me and I was trying to take him in this situation, I'd be like, you've got mental health issues. I'm going to distance myself from you. You you absolute doofus. Yes, doofus. No! You have to forfeit. There's no girls in this league. Girls fucking suck, man. Oh, what oh, a progressive man. king. We don't discriminate based on gender. Yeah, man. Doesn't matter what you got between your legs. This game's for everybody. You really think you can beat us with a girl on your team? <laughs> Let's go kick girls! Why have I got goosebumps? Am I okay? Oh, she's got a penalty. Is it against her ex-boyfriend? We had a situation right ever. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought they would just cross it in and she would overhead kick it. She jumped higher than the Hulk there. She was like Iron Man in the sky. I never want to see you again. You suck. Yeah, we don't care. Are they going to get together? Oh, she got him. Jeez. Ah, got him. Jeez. I didn't think you'd show up. Oh, my God. Really this is kind of terrifying. What happens if that's not him? This could take a really sinister end. Say something. 
I gotta turn the sprinklers on. Jesus, I thought this was like some creepy bastard. I thought this was gonna turn into like a murder, setting up like a like a sequel. I'm Maybe sorry, if, if he kisses her, then he's out Everything of his absolute mind. This is not a strong foundation on how to start a relationship. Oh, so Sebastian and that girl are, and she's also with him. The entire movie, she's she hasn't been getting to know him. She's been well, she's been thinking she has, but not the actual him. So how does she know she likes him? God, this this movie. Oh, and they're kissing. Somehow, there's a happy ending to this relationship, and nobody thinks this is weird. Not not one person. Kind of cute, actually. Kind of goals. You know what they say, guys. Couples, that ball together. Stay together. Go balling with your partner. The beautiful game makes beautiful memory. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I rating this movie? I'm going to rate it a... Uh, I don't think it was as good as when we watched 17 again. Or Mean Girls. Or Twilight. I'm going to give it a... 6.8. I enjoyed it, but none of it m really made sense, and it was quite confusing for most of it, but I did enjoy it. That's what bumps it up a bit. 6.8. If you would like to see me react to another movie exactly like this, click right here.